so I end up taking an, another zero. It was raining yesterday and thought, why not stay another day? Better start picking up my pace. Forecast is good the next week. Hopefully. Creed, very scenic town. See you, Creed. skate park. It's defrosted. Creed was easily the best town on trail so far. Well, off trail, but on trail if you take the brown line. So if you're a southbounder, you don't beat the weather. You've got to come through Creed. Don't be too disappointed. Stay at uh, John Lawley's Hostel, see it on Far Out. It doesn't advertise, just word of mouth, or Far Out. And his mum Ann comes down for the season from Alabama. Looks after it. Best hostel on trail so far too. Creed was in Australia. Be packed to the rafters every weekend. Be queuing out the door to get into a cafe. Here, just another town. on the red line. So over this, it's just a dog of a trail, that's all it is, dead set dog of a trail. Wind! To the promised land, no snow. come out of the snow. Come calm down. Easy afternoon. Walking down the valley. No more snow. Be about 23 today. Did about 1,500 metres ascent at least. And had a late start, so not too bad. Tomorrow I'll try and do 27. And then I've got a couple of really steep days, I think. So worked out my average. I need to do 21 a day, including zeros from here. So more than 21 a day. What is that? On the edge of the water. I 
what is it? Beaver? I don't even know what they look like. Looks like a little wombat. Can I stay there? Or can I have that place? Trout stream out the back, deer hunting around. This is me for the night. Tonight, something a bit different. Indian lentils, flatbread, olive oil. See you tomorrow. Morning y'all. Moose and its baby. Look at this day. More of this Colorado. Can't even remember the last time we had a cloud free day like this. Way back early. So green. One thousand. Be lying if I said I didn't wish that one had a three in front of it a few times the last week, but there it is. And no, I haven't done a thousand. The creed cut off. Healer alternate. The eight hundred and something. But I do have unbroken footsteps. Cheese, peanut butter, olive oil. Did about 28 and a half miles today, I think. Long day. Tonight, got this out of a hiker box. Dumplings. Dehydrated dumplings and quino. I've added some ginger, chilli, garlic. Should be edible, I think. See you tomorrow. Morning. A lot of climbing today, so see how far we get. Hope for 22, but I think means about 1600 meters of ascent so there we go so i got a message from christian on instagram ask me a few questions if you got any questions just type them below i'll answer them I'm not an expert on anything so been out since last March so I can give you reviews on how my gears stood up but there's people better equipped to give you gear reviews 
not the best talker. He wanted me to uh, talk more, tell the story of why I'm doing this and uh, how I afford it. So I'll give it a go before I go up this steep bit and start puffing too much. So about seven years ago <coughs> I started to travel, come to a bit of a roadblock in life and just one weekend I was sitting there at home thought I'm going to travel around the world. So I did, rented out my house, did that for two years and when I got back to Melbourne I thought it's got to be, did a few paid treks around the world. I thought it's got to be this sort of stuff back in Australia. All I did back home before that was fishing, football, cricket. Had no other real interests. And then when I got back, I started, thought I'm going to be a tourist in Victoria. Here we go, uphill, I'm puffing. And, uh, and I started to see things like Wilson's Promontory. And then I saw the AAWT. I thought, I've got to do that. So that captured the imagination. All right, I'm going to press pause. Part two. It was about an hour ago when I stopped that. I've just been climbing and steeply dropping since. Got no breath. Uh, where was I? AAWT. Started planning for that and listening to the podcast, hiking podcast in the US. Started figuring... What? hearing about the PCT thought oh, I've got to do that and then the bushfires hit so AAWT got pushed back and I come up with a plan to do take a year off do Nepal uh, a couple of the Aussie ones and the AAWT back to Australia and work for a bit then do the PCT and COVID hit and the psychopath locked us down for two years in Melbourne. It's uh, saved, saved a lot more money. So then I come up with this 18-month plan. So I come out here last year, did the AZT in March. Uh, and the Aussie ones, all the big Aussie ones. South Island TA before this. And then this is the last one. So after this... I don't know, I've got two, two ideas. I'm either going to go to Tassie, work for nine months and just go fly fishing on the weekends and then come back here next year and do the PCT southbound or buy a place up around the Riverina, Albury area and just go back to life, work, and that puts me close range to the Vic High Country, New South Wales High Country, fish the Murray. Gonna take up deer hunting ever since fought doing the AAWT a couple of times and through the high country, seeing all the deer that have exploded through there now. Some free range meat, a bit of hiking and hunting combined. How do I afford this? Uh, naturally frugal my relatives will say and had a job in Melbourne that had lots of overtime got rid of all my expenses pretty much just had my mortgage worked as much overtime as possible saved no eating out little social life and then yeah that's it it's easy to save money if you try can't have both unless you've got a high paying job. But if you're in Australia, easy to save money. So much work there, so much overtime going uphill again. I think I've answered your question, Christian. Views for miles. And I've got phone service, and there's absolute drama at Edge Baston as the Aussies. Try and win a, the first test. About time we won one of these close run, run chases.
mosquitoes. A lot of forest walking today. Get the odd view out there. Beetle kills pretty bad in this part of the world. Got that back home with the snow gums, but not as bad as here. Finish up in a minute down here. Be 23 miles for the day. Tomorrow that'll leave me about 17, I think, to a shelter. 15. And then all the snow to contend with after that. This is me for the night. few camping spots here. That'll be mine. Dinner, cheese, spam, spaghetti, taco mix, garlic, ginger, chili, garlic salt. See you tomorrow. morning. Late start today. Not going very far so do 15 miles and there's a shelter and then the snow begins which is another seven miles to Monarchs Pass so it's either do it all today and slog through the snow and get upset by it this afternoon or pull up short tonight and do it first thing in the morning when it's hard and hopefully don't post hole as much into Salida tomorrow. First day of summer for the US. I thought it was June 1st, but opposite to us, but they go by the solstice here. Cold soaked mashed potatoes, ramen, tuna, olive oil. You can melt faster than that, come on.
Here's their huts. Colorado CDT style. Much to it. Night. Morning. Six and a half miles to Monarchs Pass. Snow hasn't been too bad this morning. Only got about a mile to go to the bottom. It melted out pretty hard yesterday. Just an absolute lightning show last night for hours and hours. So it's a fair way north, about 100 miles, I would have thought. But went for at least four hours would have been severe because it was a continual flashing so got a decision to make tonight do I take the east lower way what is it Colligate or something it's called or stay on the red line biz as always will help me decide and I'm out of breath Nelly there Get a hitch into Salida, Salida, don't know how to say it. A funny hitch the other week into Charmer. Family had just been fishing and picked me up, heard the accent. You don't know Bo Miles? I said, uh, my house is 200 metres from where he used to live, where he used to work. God damn, that's amazing. Looking at each other in amazement. Almost a household name here now, Bo. About four years ago. This is an AAWT video, I remember watching it. And it was so good, but hardly anyone had seen it. But they all know him now. This is Salida. Another mountain town. Touristy. Just, just weighed myself. Lost 10 kilos, 22 pound since April 30. So we are on an eating mission this afternoon.